NASCAR is known to be a dangerous sport, but probably the most horrifying sight is a car lifting off the ground. Even worse than this is when the car hits the catch fence. A couple weekends ago at Daytona, we were reminded of how scary catch fence crashes are with Myatt's crash, but we'll get into that later. Just before the video starts, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Anyways, let's get into the video. Final corner at Daytona. Who's gonna get here first? Regan Smith, 7. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is gonna win this race. What a terrible crash coming to the finish. This is a big, big race. On the final lap of the 2013 Nationwide Series season opener, Regan Smith made an ambitious block on Brad Keselowski. Sam Hornish Jr. then got into the back of Brad and sent him into Kyle Larson, who was making his series debut. Larson's car flew into the catch fence, leaving his engine and a wheel in the grandstand. Unfortunately, 28 fans were injured after debris flew into the stands, with two in critical condition, but ultimately survived. The bottom of the racetrack as they come into the trial. The caution came out just as the pack made it past the start-finish line. Just after the truckers crossed the line with one to go, near the back of the pack, Joey Coulter was tagged by James Busher and made hard contact into the outside wall. After this, his truck lifted off the ground and his back end made contact with the catch fence, spinning his car multiple times. John King won the race on the biggest stage of his life. However, he wouldn't get much of a chance at making NASCAR his career as he competed in only eight more races before exiting the sport. Look at that ride, will you? Is that Hornaday going underneath Joey Coulter? A bad crash here at Talladega. Just a very, very bad crash. Mark Martin is involved. So is Rusty Wallace, Brett Bodine, Elton Sawyer. One car overturned in the banking of turn number one, got up into the catchments and came back onto the racetrack. I don't know who it was at the moment, but this is a very, very ugly looking crash. In the midst of an already big crash, Mark Martin came down the track and took out another group of cars, including Ricky Craven. Craven had a scary tumble up the track and into the catch fence, and luckily wasn't hit by any oncoming cars. This wreck came out during one of the hottest streaks of his young career, sitting fourth in points after the first eight races, including a pole and two top fives. However, this crash was a turning point in the season, and Craven collected only one more top ten the rest of the season and finished a disappointing 20th in the final standings. Just touch that brake, then let off the gas to slow that truck down. Just staying up high going in the corner. He's not following the truck The truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa! Oh, look out! We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. After two trucks made contact, Jeff Bodine was a sitting duck on the outside whenever he was hit and launched into the catch fence. His truck rolled multiple times and burst into a fireball. You could hear the concern of the voice in the announcers expecting the worst news. The 18-time Cup Series winner not only survived, but competed in 14 Cup races later that year. Then the name of the green car goes out. Hit, curve, push, go up, and they touch the 46 of Rob Morgan. And outside the outside ball goes Jeffrey Bodine. The truck comes totally apart. You'll see the motor flying off there on the left upper portion of your screen. It ended up about... Junior will win in Daytona! And the big one happens behind them. Oh, my God. It 
It originally looked like we escaped a Daytona race without a big last lap crash, but that changed after the checkered flag. As the leaders were crossing the line for the final time, Denny Hamlin was turned from second place and came back up the track. Austin Dillon pretty much used him as a ramp to jump over the entire field and headed straight to the catch fence. The car stopped almost immediately and rolled to its resting place. Cruz ran out to see if Austin was okay, and he miraculously was, and walked away from the crash. The three airborne, and he just gets projected off the other cars right up into the fence. He went from the bottom of the race. He should be next. You can see Earnhardt, the yellow car still in the picture. But Buddy Baker, who has a lot of sentiment on the better observer, has one of the real friends. Oh, we have a problem. Bobby Allison with a horrible crash here on the front stretch. It has torn out a complete section of protective railing separating it. Alan Kowicki becomes involved. Debris and is collecting other cars. There is a lot of debris in the front stretch. Kowicki was involved. Richard Petty, I think, is another one of the cars. Uh, lots of debris on the front stretch. After a tire failure, Bobby Allison's car spun around, lifted off the ground, and then struck the catch fence. This sparked a big crash just after the trioval, collecting nearly 10 cars. If there is any positive to take from that day, many safety actions were taken to slow the cars down because of the wreck and improve safety for drivers and the spectators. Bobby's son Davey ironically scored his first career win in the same race. There goes Darrell Waltrip going by without becoming involved in it but as I said as the cars came down now they were running over the debris of the Allison car and tires were blowing and therefore they became involved in the crash there's Petty, Alan Kowicki, Phil Parsons, Phil Parsons uh, yeah. made contact with the Bobby Allison car. I was in front the last time you took it away from me earlier today he's going to try and take it away from oh, me. He's on the metal here. He he's he's got he's trouble now. Keselowski's got like oh. oh. Oh, big crash. Oh, and up into the wall. Look out. The caution is out. The race will finish. And it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Restarting with two laps to go, Jamie McMurray was in prime position to take the checkered flag. However, on the last lap, he was shuffled back to fourth. He desperately tried to cut off Clint Boyer, but this turned him in front of the field, causing a massive crash. Behind them, Dennis Sedzer was squeezed into the outside wall by Paul Menard, which turned him on his side and up into the catch fence. Kozlowski won the race, while Johnny Borneman III scored his only career top five. Brown, the chaos. Wow. Look at Seth. Setzer. Wow. Good to see him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Well, and remember, they raised the catch fence after last year's race here. Also stretched it out over the racetrack. You're right. It did it. Right here at the line. Can Kozlowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the other side. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns it. No. No. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car destroyed. Carl Edwards attempted to block Brad Keselowski, but Brad kept his foot in it and turned to Edwards. Carl came up the track and was launched into the catch fence after a heavy hit with Ryan Newman. This was Brad's first race of the season and first race with James Finch. Brad's first four career starts actually came for Hendrick Motorsports. Brad, Carl went up a little bit to block him and oh now went right back to the bottom and clipped him. You know, the move looked a lot like the one that Brian Vickers put on Jimmy Johnson when Vickers won. Wow. But what a hit. Wow. That is 1987 all over again. Show. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. That's comes. Austin Hill in oh, the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. Finally, to the wreck that inspired this video, a wreck that happened just a couple of weeks ago. Myatt Snyder was battling for a top five finish at Daytona whenever he was turned in front of the pack and immediately got airborne and flew straight into the catch fence. This left his cart completely destroyed. This is arguably the scariest crash in the last decade of NASCAR's second division in conversation with Kyle Larson's crash earlier in the video. 
Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Both those things really help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.